let's take a look at number 11 in the no calculator section. So we have the expression x to the negative second power times y to the one half power over x to the one third power times y to the negative first power, where x is greater than one and y is greater than one is equivalent to which of the following? First thing we always do is circle a question, no matter what, do it so that you never misread anything. So I'm looking for something that is equivalent. Okay. Now, if this were the calculator section, we could plug in here. And what I mean by that is say, okay, well, if x is equal to 4, y is equal to 3, put those values into the original equation and then also put them into the answer choices, that would be a really great way to do this question. But since we don't have our calculator, we need to know the exponent rules anyways. And so plugging in might actually just add another layer of difficulty. So we're not going to use a strategy for this question. We're just going to apply the exponent rules. So the first thing we need to do is tackle these negative exponents. When we have a negative exponent, what it means is that it's on the wrong side of the fraction. Okay, so what I mean by that is if I have something like x to the negative 2, well, that's technically over the number 1. If I want to write that as a positive exponent, I need to move it into the denominator. Okay. So these two things are equivalent. x to the negative second power is the same thing as 1 over x squared. Um, and the opposite is true, where if it were in the denominator, I would move it on top. Okay, So I'm going to start by applying that rule to the fraction they've given us. So I'm going to move that x to the negative 2 down to the denominator. So I'm left with y to the 1 half on top. I'll also leave this x to the third. So this x squared belongs down here. And also, this y to the negative 1 actually belongs on top. So I'm going to write those here. I'll put them in a different color. y to the first x squared. Okay, So I've dealt with my negative exponents. We're good to go there. But now I need to figure out, OK, how are these fractional exponents related to all of these roots in my answer choices? Well, I will tell you. In a fractional exponent, the top number is the power, and the bottom number is the root. Okay, So I could rewrite y to the 1 half, I'll do that here, lots of colors today, as y to the first in a square root. Now, we normally don't write the 2 for square roots. It's just inferred, uh, but I'm just going to write it right now. And then I still have my y to the first all over, again, so x, my top number is my power, to the first. Now here I have a 3, so this is going to be in a cube root. Okay. And then I still have my x squared. Now before I do anything else, I should look to see if there's an answer choice that matches what I have written down, because you might not need to do any more work. Okay, So I'm looking for y times the square root of y all over x squared times the cube root of x. And lo and behold, that is choice D. So I don't need to do any further combining or simplifying. I can just stop here. 